everyone! Today is June 7th, but it's only been that way for a few minutes now. So this vlog is about, if I say today, it was June 6th. Okay. So, I wrote a list down, so we have a lot of talk out. So, um, it's just a little after midnight and Bethany is not here. For the first time in two years, she is gone. She actually stayed the night without me, which is the first time it's ever happened. Hey, Mr. Bunches. Um, I do, Bethany. If you're watching this, I love you. Miss you, babies. Um, she stayed the night with her dad. He was over here watching a movie, and then he's like, I'm getting tired. I'm going to leave, go home, go to bed. And she just got her clothes on, like, that's where she goes. So she just knocked on the door. Like, that's what she does when she wants to leave. She'll knock on the door, she'll try to open it, and she'll say bye, and then she comes back and does it again, back and forth, back and forth. So, that's what she was doing, and she was testing me, and I was like, okay, bye. Okay, go bye-bye. Like, you know, that's fine, go. Because I wasn't feeling good, and I was tired, and she was cranky, and I was just like, I know if she's over there, she'll be happy, she won't be cranky, she won't cause problems, because she just wants to get out of the house, you know, like, we're stuck here all the time, and that's all she needs is just some fresh air, you know? So, she loves going over there anyways. They have a bunch of little dogs, and she goes over there and fights with them and pulls their legs and follows them around and kicks them. She kicked one of them, and the poor little dog fell over and ran away. So, he's not hurt or anything. Like, this isn't cruelty. Like, she's just a little kid. She just got excited, kicked. Like, you know, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So, anyways, yeah, I miss her, but I'll see her tomorrow morning. As soon as they wake up, they're coming over here. They'll probably be up before me, so they'll probably wake me up, but that's fine. Another thing, my friend Becca, who I talked about in previous videos, she had her baby on Friday, which was the 5th. Mm -hmm. it was the 5th. She had her baby, and she's so pretty. Her name is Annabelle Claire. I went to the hospital today, and I met her for the first time. She's so sweet. She's, like, such a good baby. And she's so pretty. She doesn't even have a bobble head. Did a good job. Because all babies usually look alike. They usually have the same nose, the same big bobble head, and the same little body. She doesn't have a bobble head. And she doesn't have, she doesn't have a rounded nose like that. She doesn't have the average nose. Like, she has, like, definition nose. Like, it's really small, and you know what, you know, I don't know, maybe you don't understand. I'm not very good at describing stuff like that. Um, so I did that this morning, well, uh, this afternoon, because it was like 3 o'clock by the time I got over there. And then, um, after that, well, while she was there, Will's mom had to watch her, her grandma, Lilia. She had to watch her because kids aren't allowed in the back hospital room things, you know, unless it's like their brother or sister. So I had to get a babysitter, and that's why it took so long, because I, like, wanted to make sure everything was ready for the day before we left. So we were all both ready and got everything ready that we needed, got the bag, got the gifts in the bags and put the tissue in them and cleaned up around the house and stuff like that before we even left. So that's why. And then after that, we came home. She took a bath. We changed our clothes. Well, she changed her clothes. I didn't change her clothes. And then we went to a wedding. And... After I went and I told everyone about the wedding, they were like, oh, we're keeping it a secret and no one's supposed to know. So I can just tell you I went to a wedding, and I don't think I can tell you who it was. But I mean, seriously, you guys know me. You know if you're going to tell me something, I'm just going to tell the world. I just can't keep secrets. What you need to do, you need to come here. You need to take that breath. I have something to tell you, but you can only tell, I mean, you say to people, you say you can only tell Bethany, your mom, and yourself, or, you know, who, whoever, whoever, whoever it is that can tell. Because I just, I just assume if you tell me, then you tell the world, like, I'm not good with secrets, I've never been good with secrets. Come on, you guys are giving me too much credit. Don't tell me things. Seriously. If you tell me 
you can tell this person and that's it, then I will only tell that person. I usually tell my mom or wheel everything. So between the two of them, there's no secrets with me. Because if it's something that I can't tell wheel because I'm afraid he'll tell everyone, then I'll tell my mom. If it's something I'm afraid my mom will go and tell everyone, then I'll tell wheel. So it works out. Um, so yeah, it was really good. It was really small. And I think the reason why it was just so special is because the person that married the, the couple was close to them and I can't tell you that either until until word gets out until everyone knows who, who you know what this is and I guess I can't open my mouth that much but earlier on in the relationship with Will and myself um we had talked about getting married like when I first found out I was pregnant and we were just like you know it's just it makes sense you know we like each other anyways let's just do this which is you know there was more than that but I don't want to get into it on a blog so, and I talked to my grandpa about it, because my grandpa's a pastor, and he could marry a couple, um, and he just didn't agree with their lifestyle, and that, to me, that's very important, the person who does the actual wedding vows, the person that actually, there's a word for this, and I had it in my head just a few months ago, but yeah, that's really special, and I think that's a big part of it, I think if someone marries you with love, and they they know that they're going to love you before the marriage, after the marriage, and, you know, hopefully the marriage is it, but, you know, things happen, and sometimes you just can't be this person or whatever, so even after the marriage, if they still love you and they still just know that it was the right thing at the right time, you know, at that time, I think that's important, and it was just, it was really nice, it was really small, the people that were there were the people that are around them the most, and, it was, it was just really nice. It was small, and they're both... No, I, I can't even say that either. I can't even say where it was at either. Um, but then after that, we went to the park. Well, we had dinner, and then we went to the park. Um, we actually went down the road a little bit because we were going to look at the new Camaro. My love. But the place was already closed because it was like 7 o'clock or something. So we ended up going to the park right down the road from it. Um, oh, my hair and makeup, they're already messed up now because I've had them on, like, all day. Um, I have a bump it in my hair, 